uh, and she taught me a lot, you know, like I live in LA and, and dating this older woman, she taught me about the Me Too movement, and if, if you don't know what it is, it's basically, there's a bunch of dudes who didn't know, like, when and when not to show their dicks, like, at work. <laughs> You know, they're like, 4.30? It's like, that's too early, bro. They should, they, they should have called it the Me Too movement. It should be like, like, don't take your cock out until you clock out, you know? Like, it's easier to remember, it rhymes. But I get it, if you're a guy and you're hearing your dicks out tonight, I get it, you know? Because there's no, there's no training video. Like, you go to Starbucks, they're like, this is how you make a frappe, right? There's coffee, milk, whipped cream, ice. In that video, you're like, should my dick be out? <laughs> and then the video just ends. And so you're like, fuck, I don't know how to make a frappe. <laughs> so I decided to make a sing-along tonight. And uh, this is a song in, in place of a training video. And uh, are you guys are you guys down to sing along tonight? <laughs> uh, yeah. And that's that's basically how consent works. So <laughs> See, it's so easy, right? Yeah, 1230, let me hear you sing this one time. I said, don't show your dick. Uh, let me hear you one time all together. I said, don't show your dick. Holy shit, you guys are you guys are harmonizing each other. There's some Filipinos in the crowd. Yeah, this feels like a fundraiser show now. I didn't realize we're raising money tonight, but we are, you guys. Well, let's, let's try just the ladies one time. I said, don't show your dick. Wait, she said dick's plural in the front. Damn, you had a rough, girl. You had a rough up there. Damn, dick's plural in these streets. How about just the fellas? You, you're part of the movement, too. Let me hear you, fellas. One, two, three. I said, don't show your dick. Holy shit, that was terrifying. Damn, I, that was a bad idea. I was hearing all the dudes sing dicks and bass. <laughs> one more time all together with three, two, one. We said, don't show your dick. Yeah. Now this feels like a Sarah McLaughlin commercial. Yeah. We're about to adopt a dog tonight, everybody. Yeah. We're gonna adopt a dick too, fuck it. Yeah. We'll save those dicks off the streets. If it's thin like a candle wick, you gotta get Scented dick. And even if it's diner milkshake thick, you got a dick so thick you can't suck it through a straw. Vanilla flavored dick. So many different types of dicks out there. If you're working Hollywood or politics, everybody work all the time. I said, don't show your dick. Now you guys whispered at that time. You guys trying to make it sound sexy. Wasn't it? And you know what? It's not about shaming men, you know? That's not what it's about. Everybody, you, I'm sure you got a beautiful dick out there tonight. It's about the situation, when, in, when it's not okay and when it's not okay. So let me get, let me get some places where it's not okay and I'll improvise a verse. Let me hear you, somebody. Church. What is that? What is that? I'll hear praise the Lord right there, too. You guys want to hear a verse about church? some 
said, don't show your dead in jail. I'm already doing time. All right, we got one more. One more suggestion. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, yeah. 